Folding mirrors to pass through narrow way? Cool! It just did that. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. All right, it's so a better late than never, I guess. So we are running FSD version 11.3.4, which I think is the most up-to-date version, which is great that it just kind of jumped me ahead there. Full self-driving beta. You can enable full self-driving beta using the controls, which we already know. Note that this is running on Tesla Vision, which includes limitations currently. Uh, following distance between two and seven and autopilot speed is 85 miles an hour. Here is 11.3.4. Oh. Okay, there's that. Now, okay, so I thought it would tell me that. You know, feel free to pause the video here if you want to read all of this. So um, this, the biggest thing that I'm going to notice and that you guys will see um, in my, in this video and future videos is on a highway, it doesn't go to navigate on autopilot anymore. So navigate on autopilot is um, done with, and now it's just going to um, be the FSD beta on the highway, which is awesome because you still have to give the semi shake on the highway recently. A lot of this stuff, I'm just gonna let you guys read and pause if you want to, because this is very down in the weeds. And I'm just gonna try and make sure that the video is as easy as possible um, if you do want to pause it because man there's a lot of release notes with this because i think going from where i was to now this 11.3.4 is a huge jump again there is the 11.3.4 and skipping ahead so over the air update recall so in order to the recent recall campaign for the u.s tesla's making improvements to the following system behaviors within FSD. So improved diagnostic log. So this I think is, has to do with the regular issues that they've been facing. There is updated uh, behavior in certain scenarios, which I'm sure you guys are aware of where, you know, it's not coming to a full stop or the maneuvers uh, from a turn lane to continue traveling straight. And then uh, these maneuvers will now be treated as a lane change when the turn indicator is used to alert other drivers. So that's like uh, very good to see. And in some cases, I think maybe it turns the turn signal on too early or too late. If you guys have tested this or watched my videos, you do know this is not a perfect system. And right in queue, this is a beta system. So keep your hands on the wheel like this picture does represent. But also the beta suspension is still here. You can be removed for about two weeks. Huh. That's funny. Uh, that's Elon Musk famous about two weeks, but you can't be removed. So visualization improvements. So to view the expanded driving view, which we've already had in the last one, I think they did add a couple things with the visualization in terms of what you actually see on the screen. So I'm gonna try and get video of that. And then the cabin camera above the rear view mirror can now determine unattentiveness and provide an audible alert, which it was doing already. This is not new. Um, and then we also have Apple Music, which we already knew about. And if you haven't seen, I quietly released a podcast, which I am promising you guys right now to get more regular on uh, posting more episodes there. So dog mode improvements. So now you can use the interior camera, but you have to have a premium connectivity subscription in order to view the camera. Scheduled light show, which is not new. Climate control fan speed, low, medium, high, that's not new. That was in the last update. My Q connected garage is there as well. Auto turn signals off, which we also had last time. This is not a new game either. Confirm phone call transfer, which was in the last update as well. Contact lookup was there. So I think none of these are really more new. All of these little things here that we did get in the last updates, this toy box rainbow road always on, which is, you know, that's fun. Then that is it. So that is the bottom of these release notes for this FSD beta version 11.3.4, 2022.45.13. So it's interesting that I'm running 2022.45.13. I've seen a couple other people with this version 11.3.4 and they have a different software version. So I'm not sure what that is about, uh, but definitely if you know, let me know down in the comment section below. Okay, now let's go test out this FSD beta. All right, so we are in the car. We have our destination set and I do engage the FSD. Have to give it some encouragement here so my wife doesn't get too frustrated. 
although I would have liked to let it wait a little bit, but it was taking a little too long. It was very open, so I did tap the pedal. Anytime you do see me do any interference with the car, take over, give it some encouragement by pushing the accelerator, you will see a card up there in the right-hand corner. So it is its turn to go. We do have a little bit of cross traffic here, and then I do tap the accelerator again for a little bit of encouragement once more because it was open. That is a median filled little street that we're getting on. And we're gonna fast forward here. We're gonna make a left-hand turn and it was really smooth waiting for this here. I do like the new visuals, which I will touch on because the visuals were really helpful, especially for me as the driver. I do also like this solid blue screen that we see here and it's doing a lot better. You can see there in the center of telling me what the car is thinking, quote unquote, I'm doing air quotes here, uh, because as the driver, it's really important for me when it, the car makes a decision, oh, I get why it's doing that. Now it does fail here and I do have to do a takeover because it should go right behind that SUV that just went into the closest lane. You can see that traffic is in that far lane. It is waiting and waiting and waiting here. It does start to go and now I didn't look at the screen because I was looking at my, over my shoulder and you can see the blue line is gonna go into that far lane, which was incorrect because there is traffic in that lane. So I did have to do a takeover there. So there's a disengagement. So just as a reminder for everybody that this is a FSD beta system. So be ready to take over, keep your hands on the wheel, just like I do at all times. You have to be ready to take over the system. It is still learning. Think of it like an infant AI. It is still learning. Now we do have to cross over, I believe one, maybe even two lanes here of traffic. And it's kind of like the lane lines are a little bit skewed up, but you can see that the Tesla just moves over without turning on the turn signal. So about right through here, I would like to see the right turn signal turn on. Uh, there is no right turn signal. We are getting on the highway here. And so you're gonna see that there is absolutely no right turn signal. Now we're in the right-hand turn lane it should have a right turn signal on. Now there is no traffic here, so this is where the FSD beta typically switches to navigate on autopilot right about here, and you see that we get a takeover immediately. So definitely still some bugs that need to be worked out. Typically it would go from FSD to navigate on autopilot. It did not do that, and this actually happened to me one more time. On the highway, I think FSD performed great. I am using the turn signal here so I can get into a HOV lane over here, which the autopilot, uh, navigate on autopilot and the FSD still is not really able to understand. And I know that's hard because a lot of cities or states operate their HOV lanes a little bit differently. I do have the tolls turned on, but this is kind of interesting here. And I wanted to fast forward to this part because it did end up failing right here. So I'm gonna let the audio from the car play, which is kind of entertaining because my wife hates testing this autopilot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and it failed. The autopilot FSD was heading right for cones and didn't merge over Let's fast try. enough. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. So what you heard me saying was actually a voice message that you can now play, so it'll be prompted. So the right scroll wheel in the car after you do an autopilot disengagement, you can hit that and then actually send a voice recording. I think that's for the autopilot labor, labelers and hopefully soon for Dojo as well so that you know your voice can be just dictated. Now you can see here it's turning into the right lane, which is this is the correct lane we're supposed to be in, but then goes back to the left. So I do use the turn signal stock to put it back in the correct lane. So there is some driver interference right there. Just wanted to be completely clear with you guys. But overall, I was impressed, especially because they had to do a full rewrite of the FSD beta to work on the highways. So navigate on autopilot is gone, but for such an infant AI system on the highways, I think it's doing a really good job. And I think it's learning a lot from the city streets, although highways are a lot easier than these city streets. So the FSD beta, I think is going to get a lot better a lot faster on the highways compared to the city streets. Now, this is in fast mode here. I do make maybe one lane change coming up, but overall it performed beautifully. So this newer FSD beta version definitely did a really good job. You can see here I'm in a downtown environment with stop signs, lots of traffic going on, and we do make a lane change over here to the left lane, which it does really smoothly. And I think it did really nicely. We're making a left turn coming up here 
And I, I really am impressed with how well it was doing. Now, was it perfect? No, you saw the couple of disengagement that we did have, but it is doing a good job. We have a jogger up here on the sidewalk running towards us, and it didn't act or freak out like I've seen other FSD betas do. It just kind of acted smoothly, like, okay, it's running towards me, the person's running towards me, and I have plenty of time. So we're actually gonna stop here as well, and I wanna talk about Right now, you think it should go, but the FSD beta sees this runner and the runner on the screen is in blue, meaning that's what's controlling the vehicle. And also when you're at a traffic light, the traffic lights are now illuminated in blue or the car in front of you, whatever's controlling the cars, you can see these cross traffic is in blue is controlling the vehicle. So really nice visualization that we're able to see here. Now I am putting this little clip in here because it took way too long to cross, there was a lot of openings and eventually crept across, but I did not push the accelerator. on. So it just didn't go as fast as I wanted it to go. Now we do have oncoming traffic here, so the FSD beta utilizes this little opening here, but this car is going to park over there. Now the FSD beta does do something cool and fold the mirrors here, which I really like and it was prepared to go through this narrow spot. It didn't identify that this car was actually trying to park here like me as a human could easily identify. And then this FSD beta is staying still, unfolds the mirrors and then allows the oncoming traffic to go through before it goes. Lots of good testing here, but let me know what you guys think of this down in the comment section below and I'll be sure to do more testing of this FSD beta soon.